Limby English often goes deeper than simple labels. Many words help to define a sense of community. Alone, that's, that's just lingo, that's just belonging. When you say you're alum, that, that, that's identity. And uh, uh, we were up at Chapter Hill the other Sunday for the uh, uh, grad for Oleana's graduation. And, and they referred to the alumni as alums. I said, how about that? We're all alums. Alum <laughs> is a lumby. You know, we, we refer to ourselves as alums. For me to be able to call somebody lumby, it'll be by having lumby blood in them, by having to be knowing about their culture, you know, they got to know about their ancestors, but for like people in the outside world that know nothing about their culture. I mean, they call everybody Lumbee. There is Lumbee. They got blood. Yeah. They know nothing about their culture. They know nothing about their culture. To me, really, I think, I mean, they are Native American, but to me, I really can't consider them Native American if they willing to learn about their culture. If you maintain your community ties and stuff, if it's just coming home at Christmas and from Mother's Day and and let me homecoming and stuff like that. It's got to be some, you some kind of way. I mean, you know, this Heather Locklear thing, Heather Locklear ain't there alone. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care if her granddad or great granddad or what it was came from here. She's never lived as a alum. She's never been involved in this community. She's never certainly had to experience the things that are just going to be part of your life experience if you're alone and, you know, you live across the country. So it's hard for me to see somebody like that as alone. To me, it's got to be, uh, you just got to be a part of this community, even if it is from a distance, you know. So I guess what I'm saying, you got to have the genetics and the culture.